gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this but uh, it is what it is, man. Hey, when you start your day, well, let me back up. When you park for the night, remember, I always do you walk around your truck. If you make a parking spot, make sure you're not blocking nobody in. And I had about two or three trucks behind me, but I made sure I hugged the curb. I wasn't impeding traffic. I'm still inside the rest area, and it should be a peaceful night. All right. Rule number one, always leave yourself a way out and don't freaking block nobody when you park, when you make a parking spot. All right. But um, when you start your day, like I say, you do your pre-trip, walk around your truck, make sure you, you know, you know, sometimes folks like to mess with your equipment in the middle of the night. So you always want to do a good walk around along with your pre-trip. Now, always, unless it's inclement weather, roll your daggone windows down Get some fresh air in there. Get that old booty smell, foot corn chips, whatever going on in your truck. Get some fresh air in there. I mean, I spray my stuff with Lysol and disinfectant, but make sure you know you uh get some fresh air in your cab. All right, all jokes aside, get some fresh air in there. Get the germs out. Just get some fresh air. You know, it's 38 degrees. You see my goose bumps. It's a little chilly out here, but. I don't like putting nothing on. Now, if you remember from yesterday or last night, remember how I was talking about doing a good tarp job with bungees. Now, I've already adjusted that once or twice at the bottom, but I don't have enough D-rings at the bottom uh, to hold it in. That's why I was doing like that. But as you can see, the top's holding in, all right? As so I say, you always want a damn tarp. Tarp it and secure it right the first time so you don't have to freaking worry about it. Uh, when you're going down the road. But uh, when we get down to Tennessee, I've seen a lot of posts from yesterday saying that, you know, drivers are where I'm going. I waited a long time to get dispatch or bounce somewhere far to get some freight. So we'll see, man. Today's a new day, a new adventure. Same BS. But hey, you got to make the best of it and you got to think happy thoughts. Got to think happy thoughts. Well, that's good there. Get some breakfast going. Looks like I can roll my windows up now. They've been down about a good five minutes. Say so you get some good fresh air. You got 210 miles to go. I get there around about lunchtime. So we'll see what's next. We'll see you on the next one, truck buddies. So we made it, hour and a half to spare. They have parking. As you can see, it's already a line full of trucks. It's one, two, three, uh, four, four trucks already. I'm number five. <clears throat> Remember, you, parking up ain't really that important until it gets to the end of the week. When it gets to the end of the week, that's when you wanna park up for sure to make sure you get home in a timely manner. 
So it's Wednesday night, parked up for tomorrow. Get unloaded. They start at six. My appointment's for eight. So as I see the line move, I'll just move forward and uh, go from there. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, very uneventful. Drove through Atlanta or on 285. And if you know, you know. You know, so it's all good. I don't know who's all out here. Let's see. I think that's Maverick up there. And uh, I'm trying to see who else that is. Anyway, but yeah, parked up, ready to go for tomorrow. Got that shower. Best time to take a shower is when you're done for the day and you try to stop before. Uh, get it done before four o'clock, four or five o'clock. You know, you know, two or three o'clock, two, uh, two or three o'clock, two or three o'clock, somewhere around there, right there before dinner time. Because usually you can get in and get out, get your shower, restock, fill your truck, and get down to your destination or where are we gonna stop for the night. Because <clears throat> when you try to take a shower at the end of the night, of course it's a line, and you're at a truck stop, and we all know bad things happen at truck stops sometimes all right so we're here in auburn georgia no telling where we're heading next see you in the morning truck buddies